it's also in. And, uh, you know, by the people's choice, rest 62, weigh 38. That's crazy. But to make it a little more interesting, the person that wins in real life gets in Wayne's World shirt, 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 shirt. Starting the game off as predicted, Russell Jones took it straight to the lane to finish over the 6'11 defender. And also as predicted, his adversary Waylon Napier quickly responded with this nice float in the lane. While also using his step back fake to find Patrick Jenkins under the basket for an annual finish. It's similar to Russ, guard Tasia Dunlap challenged the 6'11 big. Putting it right outside of his reach for two. And adding his input, James Crosby knocked down a smooth three in transition. Inspiring his backcourt mate Waylon Napier to add one of his own. And of course, it was only right Russ was able to respond with one as well. Forcing Waylon to take it partially. He made sure to let the fans know that that pregame poll simply all opinion and no facts. But showing his complete photo package, that lap scored again over the 6-11 defender. This time plus one. And going three-pointer for three-pointer, Boba Kendall Womack would hit one. That was immediately followed with the nasty trade from that pit. With two defenders in his face. And rekindling their connection, Waylon found Jenkins inside again for another in one finish. Followed by another insertion from star guard James Crosby. And doing his best MJ impression, Dunlap absolutely left Crosby in the dash with his snatchback dribble and nice jumper. But responding with power, Malcolm Wilson caught Dunlap slipping. He smashed the big back gym, giving his teammates a jolt of energy to push them forward. Using that energy, Crosby did a nice behind the back dribble to finish strongly inside. But stopping their energetic run, Westwood added two threes. Two threes that will be eventually followed with this tough lane in the lane by Wayne. 
was in it the halftime. Score 33. 30. Let's see what Coach D got to say ahead. The effort's there, man. You guys are busting. Okay? You cannot live and die by the three. You can't. Okay, we're gonna have to get it inside some. Alright? Can't live and die by it. Good shots, open shots, I love it. Okay? But don't live and die by it. Let's get to the let's get to the line. Okay? Um, I thought you'd done a good job going at Malcolm in, in spots. We made some mistakes against him, but he's gonna get some blocks. Alright? I'm more concerned of us sitting down here defensively and being able to get stops and rebound the ball. That's where we're gonna win this game. Okay? Starting the half off inspired. That's where we're going to add three buckets in a row. But using his height effectively, Michael Wilson threw down this slam with some major force on this play. A play that was soon followed by another three on the night from Westwood's leader, Russell Jones. He's stepping up to the challenge like any leader should. Jones took it upon himself to slow down his rival. Wailing Napper down as best as he could. But only for so long, as Napper was freed up in transition and finished this alley hoop layer to end the third on a high note. Giving Ridgeview a 47 to 40 lead going into the fourth. And giving a much needed boost off the bench, Brennan Bynum finished two nice labs around the hoop. This was followed with a timely three from Jalen Watson, along with the hustle play of the game, almost falling into the fans, but they were sure to pick him up. And shout out to the Westwood fan section. Conditioning inside, Napa found Wilson for another slam, a slam that would only be followed by a nice one-back jumper from three, and adding a clutch three of his own. Teja hit a nice one from the wing. Which would set up his backcourt mate Russell Jones to make the play of the game. Sneak it behind Waylon to get this steal. Adding some sauce on the plate. To finish a little bit of jelly around the hoop. The crowd went crazy. So did I. So here it was, Russell Jones at the line to seal the game. But no, he missed the front end of the one and one, giving Ridgeville the opportunity to tie the game. He couldn't believe it. So with 12 seconds, Ridgeville will inbound the ball. But walking with the ball will be Crosby Jones. Most definitely one of the most controversial calls I've ever seen this late in the game. So it's only right we take another look. And at second glance, I do believe he traveled. And with this turnover, Russell would get another opportunity to save the game. But again, he misses the front end of the one and one, giving the Blazers another chance to tie the game. And sort of like it was scripted. The ball was placed in Waylon's hands. Caught it by his rival, Russell Jones. Let's see what happens. He rises up, shoots, comes up short, giving Westwood the victory 60 to 57. Congrats, Russ.
Coach Duran, I hadn't had one of these this year yet. Come on! Final Four celebration, I thought it was going to be the only one going to walk. It is not the Final Four. That is one game. And you're going to have to go back over there. Okay. And it's going to be just like this again. And they're going to want to beat you. Okay. I'm so proud of how you guys hung in there, man. You continue to do it. Day after day after day. And you continue to deal with me. And all of them. Every day. But that's what it takes. Do you see the toughness starting to come? Okay. The grind it out mentality? That's what it takes to win in a league like this. They're good. So are we. Okay. And that's what's going to happen. But we go back to this, don't we? I didn't even put it up on the board. No. That's all we worry about. Coach has a team full of seven footers. I don't care how tall you are, it's a whole team of seven footers because you guys play like giants. Giants. <laughs> and I got a famous quote to share with you by the Nature Boy. Woo! <laughs> Man, you know, shout out to my boy Wayne's well, You know, we came out with the dub, as you can see. Hey, but shout out my boy Wayne. He did his thing, man. All love to you, bro. Yo, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like the video, hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, shout out to Rest for winning. Um, rock that shirt nicely. And if you want a shirt, go down here in the description where the, the little game title is or whatever. And go hit the link right there. It's going to be like c and &E slash Wayne's World merch and all that. Yo, hit that. Get you a shirt. You know what I'm saying? If you want a shirt, um, just a shirt, no bag, it'll be 15 But if you want the bag and the shirt, it's $20. That's a, that's a crazy deal. Like, that's a crazy deal. You feel me? So, yeah, man, um, go support. And just know we got some crazy things on the way. I'm not going to speak on those things. So, I just want to say shout out to God for being the realest OG, 100% Jesus. That's what we about here at Wayne's World. So, man, we going to make it do what it do, amplify his name, and use the gifts that he's given us to flourish in this world. Man, nobody can stop us because we're undefeated in the name of Jesus. So, until next time, I love y'all. Know me. Dollar. Peace.